I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Nicene Creed. Fridays with Finker. That's the subject of, of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing at Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, or you like the dog. Oops. Like our videos, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get the app on Google, um, uh, Amazon, and iTunes. And donate your tax-deductible gift. He missed it. Keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. All right, it's Friday, which means we talk to Higher Things' as Dean of Theology. Pastor Aaron Finker. Pastor Finker, let me get, let me get you on. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. There we are, together. Good hey, to see you, buddy. there we are. Uh, you don't get to see Thor, who's like hitting my elbow. Um, tell us a little bit about the history of the Nicene Creed, a creed that we say every single week. Right. So the Nicene Creed uh, gets its name for um, the Council of Nicaea, which we talked about last week, which there will probably be a link s somewhere for that um, uh, up in a corner, down in a corner, somewhere. Anyway, check that video out. Um, and the majority of the Nicene Creed that we say every uh, time we have the sacrament of the altar was written at Nicaea, um, the lion's share of it, um, and the rest of it, um, well, I'll tell you where it stopped. Everything up to the uh, the third article in the Nicene Creed um, was at Nicaea, and all they confessed about the Holy Spirit is, we believe in the Holy Spirit, and that was it, um, because that's all they, they needed to confess at that time, but after Nicaea, um, they were still fighting about Arianism, ooh, uh, a, but they also were arguing about the spirit and is the spirit a person? What is his work? What does he do? How does he relate to the father and the son? All that came out after Nicaea. And so in 381, uh, there was the Council of Constantinople where they basically reconfessed the Nicene Creed and added what we're accustomed to saying as the Nicene Creed when it comes to the Holy Spirit. And so the Nicene Creed that we say every time we have the sacrament of the altar um, is really the, the Niceno-Constantinopolin Creed. Say that 10 times fast and um, we'll give you a prize. I don't know what, I don't think there's a prize for it. Um, but that, that's where it, that's the, the sort of the brief history of it. So why do we always say it at the Lord's Supper? Why do you think that we say it at the Lord's Supper? Well, um, the Apostles' Creed is always tied to baptism. And um, that's why it comes up in our baptismal rite and our confirmation rite the way it does. Confirmation is just a, an opportunity for us to confess um, what God did for us at holy baptism. Um, and so it makes sense for us, that creed, to be tied there. It's the daily... Uh, it's the daily creed, what you would pray in the morning and in the evening, uh, as the catechism would sort of guide us, Luther would guide us that way. Uh, the Nicene Creed is a fuller creed, and uh, in the Western Church uh, became the creed to say um, on Sundays. Um, and it's important to keep that because... Um, well, it, there's words in the Nicene Creed that tie us to the sacrament. Um, there is um, the Apostles' Creed, certainly good creed, um, but in the Nicene Creed, there is the declaration of the gospel, that suddenly our baptismal faith uh, comes out on Sunday morning when we're suddenly putting the words of Jesus into, uh, into the ears of those around us, that we say, for us, he became man, for us, uh, and our salvation, he came down from heaven. Uh, and for us, he was crucified. And so now uh, we say that as we are gathering uh, to receive um, the clearest declaration of the gospel, which is my body and blood for 
you. I, I like how you like pepped up when it was about the gospel. You know, it's like, yeah, there's a Nicene Creed that we say every Sunday. But isn't that why we say the creed? I mean, what I love the way you you sort of you 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 went right to it. Um, we don't say the creed so that God knows that we believe the creed. You would have us say the creed for the sake of our neighbor. Exactly. Unpack that. Uh, God doesn't need um, God doesn't need your confession of faith. No, I'm going to get the four space four four page single space letters. God, um, God just needs you, and um, and so He sends His Son to die for you and rise for you. Um, and yes, of course, the Spirit. Um, we confess who Jesus is, but this is not of flesh and blood. It's not of you. Um, it's a gift. Uh, given to you that God the Father works through you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, Jesus too, whoever would confess me before men, I will confess before my Father. So the confession we have is a gift and we gladly confess it, but God doesn't need it. Your neighbor needs you to tell uh, tell him or her the gospel. Um, yeah, God doesn't need you to tell him the gospel. You, your neighbor needs you to tell them the gospel. Right. Well, was, uh, in, in Lent, we pray, uh, remember not our sins. So we tell God, could you please forget the bad stuff we've done? So, but uh, um, this is excellent. This is, gives a whole new reading uh, meaning for the creed because you're directing us. Uh, this is our confession. This is an ecumenical creed confessed all throughout Christendom. Mm -hmm. um, but but this, this also sort of speaks this creedal uh, uh, it used to be that, that some of the, the, the radical reformed churches would say deeds, not creeds. But here you're saying this is something that is loving your neighbor, which makes it the best deed. Don't you think? Right. So, right. So, um, yeah, deeds, because, um, that's what gets you in good with God. That's what they like to do. That's why uh, deeds, not creeds is said because, well, your faith doesn't matter. It's what you do because that's what really counts before God. And no, it doesn't. And your particular confessing of the faith doesn't matter either. What matters is Jesus for you and the spirit delivering it to you. And, and we confess that not just um, for our personal sakes, but for our neighbor's sake, out of love for our neighbor, um, we confess this creed to them, and out of love for our neighbor, we confess it with them. The fact that we are confessing the faith together is an act of love that we are showing towards each other, and 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 we sometimes lose that uh, in the creed because uh, we we say it all the time. But we are really loving our neighbors when we're saying it, not just so that they can hear it, but we are saying it with them. That's that's us loving each other. That's us being the body of Christ as we have gathered. Um, to be what we are, that is to, to receive the body of Christ, and then we are the body of Christ. Pastor Aaron Finker, Dean of Higher Things, and also pastor in Bremen, Kansas. Bremen. There it is. There it is. The two churches. Go ahead and roll them off for, the, for your folks. Bethlehem and Emmanuel Lutheran Churches. All right. You have been a gift to us today. We're going to see you next week, but not on Friday, but we'll act like it's Friday, because we'll see you for the... Um, Ah, Augsburg the Confession. Yes, yes, the Augsburg Confession. But what a great gift today. The um, uh, Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, um, Nicene Creed of 381. Now, that's a long time to be saying a creed, um, which is for our neighbor. What a, what a great thing. This is the confession of the Jesus who saves you and me. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you next week. I'm Pastor George Borkart and Aaron Finker. And this, he, he's, he's here, but he's, he's gone. Has been another Higher Things video short.